tell you what, there was a great time in podcasts where you only had to do audio. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I miss that. Yeah. Because yeah. that was... Uh, no one saw what your house looked like. No, they couldn't yeah. cross engineer and find out where you live. Yeah. Yeah, that was... You could use your imagination and like form the bits in your head, you know? I also feel like I, I, like I did mine for like two years without doing video and I feel like I wasn't performing. Now I'm like looking at the camera. I'm yeah, like, that's yeah, a yeah. clip. I and know. Like, uh, wearing lipstick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's... Uh, I, I don't like being on video that much because like every t you just have to like get past a point where you're like, okay, I'm fat and yeah. I'll just like... My autism's on full display. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm always like, I'm always like, <laughs> when I'm listening to someone talk, I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah. I notice I grab my dick a lot too. And I'll like try to clip oh, yeah. my podcast and I'm just like really just like pulling the head apart from the balls. I'm yeah. like, I can't like, uh -huh. yeah, the first time like, cause we didn't live together recently. We just started living together. Yeah. And, uh, I saw you on the couch and your hand had just been in your pants for like three episodes yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some TV show. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, do your, I was like, hey, Michael, do your hands smell like balls uh, all day? Uh -huh. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my mom would get so pissed. My mom, I was just thinking that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. She, she'll, she's the kind of person where she's like, oh, what if I do it? And then yeah. she starts, and I'm like, nah, okay. Like, it gets really, really disturbing. Yeah. Just, goes, just goes deep in. Yeah, yeah. Three just fingers deep. Yourself in front of me. Yeah. Huh? You think this is, you think this is attractive? <laughs> Here, smell it. <laughs> All right, Mom, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My mom is, like, so that type. Like, she'll, like, I'd get in trouble. What would your dad say? Uh, you'd be like, oh, knock it off. Just, like, one of those, yeah. like, well, knock it off, knock it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. is like, people ask me, like, what I want my son to be. My He's about to turn three. And I'm like, well, obviously, I don't want him to go into show business. But if he did, I could be, like, a pretty good coach. You yeah, know? I'd be definitely. like, you're touching your penis on the podcast. Because <laughs> <Stop that. laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't have any other skills. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I can, like, move furniture and I can podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> By the but, way, yeah. everyone in this apartment mm -hmm. wants to work for you. What Other than mean? me, I oh. already have a job, but yeah. like these guys are like, we need a oh, job. A so yeah, okay. So if you need people, yeah, I might, I might get it back together in the. I, I just, I'm doing more road stuff. Oh, okay. so it's like moving is such a, but it's such a great, <laughs> it's such, it's such a great safety net. Yeah, you know, like the money's pretty good, and it's flexible, and it's like you get paid that day. Yeah, so it's such a good. You'll you'll do it until you're like 55 years old, maybe yeah. even longer, because it's yeah. just you get you know it's so easy. It's relatively easy compared to other jobs. And the money's good. Do you get nervous like moving people's stuff? Because like I can't even be a waiter because mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'll fuck up like a dish before it gets to the. Really? Table, yeah. I kind of get that. So, dude. I, I used to work at like a. I could never be a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a job. I'll small screw up. <laughs> yeah, just all the waitresses are like. What do you do for work? Uh, I do civil engineering. So oh, it's okay. Like, it's a pretty good job. I don't get paid enough. For civil it, engineering, but... like like people, like you. Like, uh, like you're like, how do we keep the poor people in this area? <laughs> I wish. Yeah, <laughs> I wish. I do that in my free time, uh -huh. but uh, no, it's basically just like. Like the construction of like roads and sidewalks and stuff. Okay. And the, it's like the design. But you get nervous that. about That's that cool. too. You're like, if I fuck up the sidewalk, I feel like I've heard you could be concerned about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're when you're walking in the street, you're like, who designed this fucking sidewalk? <laughs> 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 <You? Yeah. laughs> yeah. Great. I'll text you next time I'm mad at the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, next definitely. time I trip. Next time my kid trips and falls. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was the grade? Pull up the plans yeah, on yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. But dude, I get like the fear because like, dude, I I worked at uh I did like uh beverage services at, like Blackstone, so I just delivered and I I poured coffee on like three people, <laughs> and it's yeah. like the, I'm so fucking incompetent with yeah, like shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. my fear because like moving like i've moved my stuff every time i move my own stuff i break like everything sure and i think part of that is because i buy like my furniture off like timu and stuff so yeah it's yeah. like made out of cardboard but yeah like yeah is well, you just ever, have like, to figure it out yeah yeah you, know, I you, guess. Got, you got no choice <laughs> yeah. if you're a dumbass <laughs> it's like what else are you gonna do yeah have you ever like you know. completely ruined something not not in like recent memory okay. just there were a few jobs in the beginning where i like didn't wrap stuff because i didn't know and then yeah a couple oh clients. yeah yeah and then so i was like all right blankets i need blankets moving you know from going forward yeah, yeah. So you kind of learned as you went you went learn as you go okay yeah yeah that was something i always get those ads for piece of cake moving yeah and it's just like a woman with like the best ass i've ever seen okay and then, like it's just handsome men moving your furniture and I'm yeah, like, I yeah, want, yeah i want that life yeah you know? <laughs> like, yeah 
Yeah, they're taking over the city. Yeah, they yeah, are. They're pricing everybody out, and they're like, it's. It, I've, I've heard it's hard to compete with them. Oh, you know? okay. But I think they're going to do like an Uber thing where they they get rid of all the competition and then they just they can jack up the prices. Oh, and barely gain yeah. Like the town. But I don't know if that's going to work because it's like anybody can just start a moving company. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like you can have your friends help you. And yeah. Well, it's easy to just be like, all right, I have a moving company now. Yeah. yeah. You know. So I don't know how you get rid of all the competition. Like, there's yeah. always going to be an opportunity to undercut those bigger those bigger guys. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know how. This is so interesting, huh? <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, admitted it. I was like, all right, how are we going to fucking get off this? So, like, this is Were you? Well, right. luckily, thank God. OJ yeah. Simpson died. OJ People. Simpson oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that happened, like, as soon as you walk through the door, OJ yeah. is dead. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it I was like, you guys, the news. I texted my wife, too. <laughs> it's it's fun to give people that news when somebody big. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's fun dies. to give them like an article too. And when they click on it, it's not a guy with a huge black dick. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's usually like what OJ and yeah, Floyd yeah. Mayweather are like the two biggest mm. culprits of that. Mm. But uh, culprits of what? Sending those of just being articles? a disguise for that massive guy with women. the big dick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> During COVID, I must have looked at that guy's dick for like a total of six hours just yeah. with how many times people sent it to me. Yeah, it's good to have it like on your wall to aspire to, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. in your gym, in your home gym. <laughs> <laughs> You're just doing crunches. You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they did like it. It was funny too because uh, they extended his dick in the picture and like. I saw did like they? a they made like a Vice documentary about the guy where they like tracked the guy down, uh -huh. the big black dick guy. Well, yeah, the big black dick guy. But uh, and his like they found his family and he like died or something like that. Yeah. And I think I, I might be remembering this one, but I think they had a weird feeling about it where they're like, well, we're just happy his face is still being shown by people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. Yeah, the, the OJ thing I was saying because like I didn't know he had cancer. He he Norm yeah. McDonald. Yeah, yeah. Why do people do that? I guess it's just they don't want people to worry or. Dude, yeah, I don't, I don't get. Really I would be such a cancer. fucking. Yeah. I would tell everybody. Like, I have cancer. cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's my PO box yeah, to send yeah, yeah. me to send me treats. <laughs> yeah, that's like the only thing you can. I'd use. post my mother's address to be like, here's where you can send all the treats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, she's got cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a win-win. Yeah. I like. I love fucking sympathy from people. Like, I remember, like, it's uh, the best. Oh, it's yeah. so good. Like, yeah. There was a girl, like this hot chick from my high school with huge tits, who posted this thing like, watch out for like men, like they're more likely to commit suicide. And I'm like, yeah, we are. Wow. Like, it felt so like sweet. <laughs> yeah. Be like, oh, yeah, That's we're so, so nice. We're so yeah, fragile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. There's a huge market for that. Like these women that are like, you know, pr like pro guy, like yeah. men's rights oh, activists. Feels so good. Yeah. Cause they'll stitch like uh, the other girls' videos and be like, yeah, a guy like refused <laughs> to pay for my dinner last night. And then this other girl's like, why do you need the guy to pay for your dinner? Yeah, all the yeah. comments are like, oh, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a great, that's a great grift. Being it, like that, it really like is. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Dude, that redhead chick, Pearl or something like that. She's the one that's like oh, always doing that. She's a little overboard. I no, think. she's, well, all of it's yeah. like, I'm not like, yeah. I don't genuinely, I'm not genuinely like, yeah, we have it wrong, but it just feels nice. Yeah. It's just like that yeah. little. It feels yeah. really nice. Yeah. yeah. It and must then, be nice. It's smart. I mean, if you want, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like an yeah, untapped it's a market, good lane. kind of. Yeah. yeah, it must be nice to, to be just a beautiful woman because there, uh -huh. there's like tons of avenues you could go. Yeah, because like it, you could do what other people are doing, like the OnlyFans or whatever, or you could be like, I'm gonna be the first hot girl to like, yeah, I don't know, like read yeah, <laughs> a yeah, book yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nice. Whatever it is, there's a like ton that deaf chick I was showing you. There's just like this smoking hot deaf girl who's like yeah. beautiful and she's like these are my videos and i'm like i'm in love with you <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. And she has so many followers and she's like gorgeous yeah and then there's that lady dude my but favorite. that's so funny that, that that girl did that like men commit suicide because it's like yeah that's like probably true and it's nice yeah, yeah. and then you might even get some some angry women in the comments being like but why, why the fuck do you care yeah, i hate yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's like yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it sucks to be you. Getting traction <laughs> yeah. on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then there's that uh, there's that woman. It's so funny. It's like very condescending, but she's this like fat white chick, and she's like, "I love you, black man." She's like, "I fucking love you. You're mm. you're wanted." Like all this you're shit. You're wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Let's you, see what Doctor Umar says about that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and the comments are so funny because you think the comments are going to be like black dudes being like, "This is so condescending," and they're yeah, like. Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah, Kissy yeah, yeah. It's all black. He's trying to fuck her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not a yeah, single yeah. comment of like, this is condescending. Yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah. at all. I love yeah. that, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, well, so OJ is dead. 
Yeah. What does that mean? Like, what happens now? Like, <laughs> I don't think anything. Does nothing I don't know. Happen? I guess it reignites some of the discourse, maybe. Yeah, I guess you know? so. Can I, like, dust off some old OJ jokes and yeah. bring them out? It's, it's the discourse of, are you loyal to black men or white women? <laughs> 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 we got to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to reveal you my know? side of that. No, no, no. But it's something to think about, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because yeah, every so time much. there's, like, a big celebrity death i don't know i always think like i, I always wonder how the world goes on without someone like oj in it you uh-huh. know? it's a little sad because it's like yeah like he had more of an impact on my life than like ruth bader ginsburg like i don't, yeah, know, sure. <laughs> fuck she, I don't even yeah, know what yeah, she yeah. does she wasn't even know? in the naked gun no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly and murder is it's kind of a thing like cheating where it's like you know you do that one bad thing what about all the what about all the days when I was good? Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> what about all the days when I wasn't murdering? Yeah. You what know? if they go back now and then they're like, yeah, we looked at it and he's actually definitely guilty. And we're like, well, yeah. now yeah. he's dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's pretty unanimous. I mean, I guess right? he is definitely guilty. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's not like legally guilty, right? No. Well, because the trial was one. But like I think uh Yeah, no, no. I think the consensus is that he is okay or the, the of the public there's a lot of because that was in 94 right yeah like so that was like the that was when i was born was 94 so mm-hmm. i don't know a lot about it. the only thing i know yeah. is like the glove yeah and like a lot of the case hinged upon this glove yeah which i saw him put it on and he's like it doesn't fit and i've never seen a glove that fit more on like a human hand <laughs> yeah, that one. Like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like I, I don't know. I put on a glove and it's like falling off or way too tight. But like, how does that? Yeah. How is that the entire crux of the? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I was listening uh-huh. to Opie and Anthony one time, and Anthony was like, "Man, the second Johnny Cochran said if the glove don't fit, you must acquit." God put a tumor in his head. <laughs> 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 well, then wasn't the cop like a Nazi or something crazy like that? Um. Yeah. Mark Furman. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Something oh, like that. Dude, they yeah. should make a show about this. Yeah, so I guess they use that to be like he, the cop who whatever was racist. So oh, that was like, okay. You know, it's very but, funny. But I guess, be like my Nazism does not define my job. I leave that at home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I guess yeah. when you when you're a defense attorney, like when somebody murders someone, you have to uh, you got to be like, all right, what do we? What do we throw at them? You yeah. Know? If it's Casey Anthony, you're like, uh, 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 her, her dad fucked her. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 She got like a what? whole new body, I think. Did you see that? Yeah. I really? Saw, like new tits and stuff? Yeah. Like, She's uh, hot. She, yeah, she has like a, a thick Latino's body now. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, cause she was, uh, she was another one who was like, that was like a, Everyone wanted her to be innocent. That's good. Right? Well, hopefully, the devil is Dominican, so she'll get <laughs> special treatment when she goes to yeah. hell. Which, by the way, the devil is definitely <laughs> Dominican. <laughs> you think? <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. I actually, one time, I was like, I never, this never happens, but I go to like a lot of raves. Uh huh. And there was one time where like the most beautiful woman ever just like started dancing with me, and I like couldn't okay. believe it. And I was yeah. like trying to kiss her the whole time. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> really? She just wanted to dance with somebody who was like non-threatening. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> That's cool though. It was so. No- I was like, yeah. God. And she was like, I knew she was Latina, but I was yeah. like, I don't know which like brand yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever. And then at one point during the concert, I realized she was Puerto Rican because. Uh-huh. The DJ goes, uh, do we have any Dominicans out there? And she mm-hmm. just goes, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you, Puerto Whoa, Rican? I was really? like, yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Damn."> like the <laughs> same people. Yeah. That's fun. I was like, you don't trust Dominicans? She's like, yeah. no, but they're yeah, sexy. Yeah, yeah. They're so sexy. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's a real like Montague and Capulets kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one time I went into my bodega when I lived in like Ocean Hill, and this girl was in there, and I walked in, and she goes, damn, you cute. I won't rape you. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm like, all right, hi. <laughs> and then we like, we like went back to my house and hung out a little bit. We made out a little, I think. But oh, wow. That oh, that's it. like the best case scenario yeah. where she doesn't actually rape you. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she doesn't like... actually rape you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, she goes, uh, 
Yeah, I got a daughter. Her name is Deja because I was I be I was getting deja vu a lot when I was pregnant with her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's cool. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah. I have a daughter. Her name is Oreo because I was eating a lot of Oreos <laughs> during the pregnancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, dude, I wish I had a little bit of that. Uh, you know, I, I like white people. This is Masters weekend. So uh -huh. I don't know if you're a golf fan. No, but uh. This is big, big white weekend. Okay. This is like when you can finally just be a white guy and like yeah. just silence the world around you. <laughs> do you do you play? Yeah, I did when I was in high school. I was pretty yeah. good, but uh It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. But it's just like you get to a certain point and it's just old people playing. You yeah. Know? Like it's ch children and then like old people. Yeah. But um yeah, like the whole like I don't know. White people, we kind of we're very concerned with like how we appear and everything, yeah. which like hurts us definitely. Uh -huh. yeah. Like I don't think like black people and Dominican people, whatever, like have the same thing. They kind of. But just... I think they definitely put a lot of thought into like how they how they look. Yeah. I think they just they're not as like sloppy. Yeah, maybe you that's know? true. Yeah. Yeah, that is interesting to think about every black guy being really insecure because he's picking out his outfits every day in a match. He's like, no, this doesn't look good together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that is happening at some level in his brain where he's like, oh, yeah. the red shoes don't look good with the blue jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, his to... purple t-shirts in the laundry. He wants to wear the purple sneakers. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny to think about it. He, they have to iron. Like, there's no way. Yeah, I'm yeah. Picturing a black guy ironing his shirt is so funny to me. For some yeah. Reason. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, he's choosing the right color underwear because he knows it's going to be showing in the back. <laughs> like, he's, got a, he's got a match here. Yeah, that is interesting. If your pants are sagging, you got to be thinking about the like you have to, you're dude. showing. That's like the the women who have like the the skirt and then like their belly is showing. Uh -huh. Like, there's got to be something. Like, the belly is almost like a layer of clothing. Oh. Like the color, yeah, get what you're you know. Yeah. So you like, I don't know. That's probably not this true is... at all. But uh, <laughs> yeah. you say something uh, about golf. Oh no, yeah, it's it's just uh, master. I don't know if you knew any of the like live PGA stuff, like the live golf league, and not really. This is all boring stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have to talk. About but Tiger's it. back, right? Tiger is back, and, and is uh, he like close to fifty? I think he's, he's over good. fifty. Yeah, I want to say he's like fifty two or something like that. Okay, but God, he looks so good. Yeah, like as a, just as a man, he just looks like really strong. Might be steroids. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But uh, are they testing golf? It is very funny because they're in my mind. I'm like, why would you yeah, steroids no for idea. golf? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, maybe they're just not testing. Yeah, it's like a. I know a lot of like everyone on Live is like doing coke when they play. Interesting. That was like Dustin Johnson was like a coke head. See, I, I feel like Adderall would make more sense because coke lasts like 20 minutes. So, and how long are the games? Like, I feel like it'd be. Yeah, each day is like four hours. Yeah, so like coke doesn't make it's a lot of coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you like Adderall, right? You're an Adderall guy. I don't like. I'm prescribed it. I don't like it. I take it like, uh, probably more than I say I do. But I take it like, I take it like once a week. Yeah. But I take like a very small amount in the morning. It's terrible for stand up because you're just robotic as shit. Uh huh. And like, I'll get like mad that my jo jokes don't work. I'm like, uh -huh. no, technically this works. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremy, they're like, you're not silly. Do you ever do Adderall? Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is it? Probably, like, I've never done it. What is it good for? Like writing? It is, I, I guess. Writing, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. I'm very scatterbrained. Okay. So it just helps you like focus on. You're like you're able to focus for like 20 minutes at a time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. That's you good. just got to be on you the right. You don't have task. a bunch on the right task. If yeah. You do like a, dude. If you jerk off on Adderall, you're gonna have like mm. five browsers open, like your laptop mm -hmm. open, like you get so into whatever you're doing. So you gotta like. Mm -hmm. I'll literally do a thing where I'll like. Andy jerk off. You're finding on cousins to, to <laughs> beat off to. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had it. You know, you know how you can have the browser now? Like, you can have a video playing while you're on your phone. You know what yeah, I'm talking about? Like, sure. yeah, yeah. I'll have that while sexting with somebody, and I'm just like waiting mm. for them to get back, like, angrily. I'm like, what oh, are you going to do yeah. to my balls? God damn it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's an, that's annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's annoying when they don't when they take like a while to get back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I want to know what yeah, you're yeah, do yeah. to me. You're yeah. like these erections don't last. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're not just. <laughs> yeah. Well, then Adderall too. Your your dick fucking shrinks and. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's like if you get stuck on the wrong thing, it's brutal. It's like what yeah. I my routine is. What I'll do is I'll take Adderall, eat a like protein bar, go back to sleep. Wake up on Adderall, take a shit, and then get my. But I'll try to jerk off like somewhere early on there, so that I'm mm. not doing it like yeah in the middle. 
I don't get erections a lot, but I try to text my wife when I have one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's usually at like 2 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like working with a kid. Yeah. <laughs> doing speech therapy. Just a big picture. <laughs> That's what, I don't know if you saw those. Not like, always a picture, but like a, you know, like a sext or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, somebody brought, real quick, somebody brought up the most interesting thing. I was talking to this woman. She was saying that she wants dick pics from the angle of somebody sucking the dick, which I never even thought of. Because she's like, when you do this instead of dick pic, mm-hmm. it's like she's the man. She's like, I don't want to be the man. I want to be mm. the person who's about to suck the about dick. To suck it. Yeah. So I'm like, mm. Matt, but that's such a weird image of like your dick, like just head on. The yeah, camera, like, I don't yeah. know. You gotta help get your dog to help you take the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Put a GoPro on his head. <laughs> It's just balls are covered in peanut butter. <laughs> I, dude, I think it depends totally on your body, though, because like if I took a picture of that, yeah. like it just looks like a flagpole with like a mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Yeah, dude, I've a- heard I've heard bulge pictures are better. I, I read that somewhere like, like in some magazine. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. the jeans or like yeah, over the but shirt. It never looks as good because like they don't know where it starts. I've tried yeah. one of those and mm. I'm like. Yeah, but you can't tell that it starts lower down. You know what I mean? Because yeah, it's yeah, coming yeah, out right. like this. Instead yeah, of like to the but side. that's part of the the magic is they well, don't know where it starts. It. They don't know where it ends. They're like, I think they know where it ends pretty clearly. <laughs> you can clearly see the end of the tip. <laughs> you get like a little bit extra like circumference though because of the pants. Like, yeah, that is a good point. Yeah, yeah, it's a little thickness. Yeah, th- I I don't know. I think we should just have more boners in public as men. From what I understand is women like want that. Yeah. They well, the, all see- the fluoride in the water. <laughs> 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 all the GMOs. Yeah. <laughs> they just want us to be hard in public. Yeah. Well, there are they weird things. away. There are weird things like that where I didn't know that girls like, like, not always, but like some girls are like, oh, I like when there's like pre cum in a guy's boxers if I'm hooking up with it. They're like, I like when guys make noises, which God, is so. Women, women are so disgusting. They're disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they need Islam. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're a woman listening to this podcast, <laughs> find Islam, okay? <laughs> and if you're a guy, which you are, <laughs> find a woman. Yeah. Just, you're one listener, <laughs> just female listener, just turn off the show. <laughs> Yeah, th- yeah, it is kind of gross to like be attracted to a guy. Like that's it's gross. That's yeah, pretty disgusting. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, that's my favorite. Like Louis has that joke where he's like, everybody thinks it's weird when a guy's fucking a young hot chick, like an old guy. Yeah, and then they're like, he's a pervert. He's like, no, she's a pervert. She wants <laughs> yeah. a fucking old guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had that other bit. He was like, "Yeah, when men have sex, they get to f- fuck women. Yeah, and yeah, women have to fuck men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to- that is yeah. disgusting. It's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah." <laughs> But uh, no, I've always said the. But vagina. I guess they're aroused by different things like money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which would be sweet. You know how much better life would be if like women had like a lower rank on our, like what we achi- what we want. You know, like oh, if they were yeah, like yeah. number six, if it was like I don't know, I think like the bar's pretty low though. Yeah, for girls, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure you guys do okay, both of you. I don't. You I don't, don't really have together. a lot of sex, but Michael does great. I do, and I keep yeah. thinking it's my career, and it's not. Like I'll get pussy. Your career. And, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> yes, and I'm like, wait, this hasn't elevated my comedy career in any way. I was like, I'm like so proud of myself. Like I'm looking in the room, like she was fucking hot, yeah. and then I'm like, wait, no, I'm exactly the same position I am financially. I actually have less money now. So. Yeah. But it is, yeah, I, I got out of like a seven year relationship. You're like, yep, 11,000 views. Yeah. <laughs> my last Instagram reel. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. We were just looking at your phone, being like, when's the pussy? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> well, it is like, yeah, because I got out of a seven year relationship and I'm, st- okay. it's been like seven months, but I'm still in the crazy part of like, because when I first mm-hmm. got out, I was just like, I was like addicted to the dating apps. Like, I was like just yeah. on there all the time. Like, yeah. I, I literally spent $800 on, <laughs> like, yeah, it's bad. On what? Roses? <laughs> Dude, yeah, just like fucking boosting myself all the time. Like, yeah. paying for the premium shit. And it paid off a lot, but I'm like, this is boosting it. Okay. Bad. Yeah. I was like, that's so much money to spend on that. Yeah. And then, um, cause back in my day, it wasn't like, uh, you know, it was, they were all free. It was before yeah, they, yeah. they like monetized. Yeah. They had like, I think they had like Tinder premium for like five bucks a month or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now they like, know. well, cause I had Tinder before my relationship. Like I had it yeah. in high school. I was like a senior oh, okay. in high school. Nice. And, uh, I had two, I had one when I was 17 cause you could be 16 and 17 on Tinder, which is wild. Yeah. And then there was one for 18 and up. So I had like two that I could go between so I could hook up with girls my age and then try to like fuck older chicks. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that was so much easier because nobody was like, everybody, dude, I remember I worked in a fondue restaurant and there was some like piece of shit guy that worked there. He's like, you guys are on Tinder. He's like, you guys are fucking losers. Like, really? Off, you, when was this? Like when I was in high school. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he's like, how about you go to a bar and meet a woman? And we're like, yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. This thing's great. You're like, yeah, I can go yeah. meet this girl in the park. And- yeah. 
That's a guy being like, you're you're driving a car when he's when he's got a horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. but the horse is fine. Well, the guy was so funny too because he like uh, he told me he like uh, I ended up. I hope he's not dead. He's like, you're, you're getting the 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 uh, polio vaccine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. fucking gay. Yeah, yeah. He's got a big plague lump yeah, on yeah, his yeah. thing. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong yeah. with you? But this guy, I remember, he's such a piece of shit. Is he like? He told me he's like, bro, you know where I get some perks? And like, I was like a druggy teenager. So like, oh yeah, uh-huh. for sure, I know a guy. So I got him like this Percocet. And then he just never paid me. And he told me, he's like, I'm going to vouch for you with the fraternity. Because I, I was going to Florida State the next year. He's like, dude, okay. I'm going to vouch for you in this fraternity. And I'm going to give you all this money for these perks. Everything's going to be great. And I just like never saw the guy again. I'm like, uh-huh. first off, I hope he's not dead. But also, it's just so funny when you're like getting Percocets from a 17-year-old bragging about how you're going to get there. I'm like, your life is in a sad place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to a fondue when, restaurant. When I was in high school, this was like one of my lowest points. I was like a senior in high school. And like I wanted to get beer for a party. Mm. But, like, I didn't have a fake ID, so I had to, like, text this guy that was on my baseball team because, like, he had a oh, fake shit. ID. But um, he was, like, two years younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> so he was, like, 16 years old, and he just would buy beer for me. And I'm like, I should not even be drinking. Like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. so embarrassing that this guy is doing this. He would walk in. Like, our baseball team would be on a trip. We, we were in Myrtle Beach, and he would just walk into, like, a uh, like a beer store and be like, "Hey, I'm a coach on one of the teams." Uh-huh. <laughs> like, All right, <laughs> nice. It's pretty sweet, dude. That was yeah. like the best investment is a fake ID. Like I remember, I had one. It, it was just like immediately you could just be, you could just be cool. And it was like it's the <laughs> easiest thing. Woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I was in college, I like lived alone and I, I had a fake ID and I would like. I, like before I went to the liquor store, I would like put on a button down shirt and tuck it in, like comb my hair yeah. to the side. So it looked like I worked in an office. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to make it look like I was balding. Like, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, age spots. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a little glass? Of- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just have a cane. Yeah. The- Dude, I, I want to get a cane. Get a jazzy. <laughs> get an electric scooter. Yeah. <laughs> there was like uh, I remember the, the funniest were like the rumors there. But like there was a liquor store by me, and people were like, "Dude, if you use a fake ID there, they have a button and bars come down and they lock you inside of the liquor store sure. until the cops come," which is not true. No, yeah. but I have realized pot shops do have that. Like one of our friends works at a weed store, uh-huh. and they lock people in there that try to steal. Oh yeah, so that's like a legit. But I don't think they do that. With that a would fake be like ID. my biggest fear is like locking myself in with, with a criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, it's just me and you, Mister <laughs> Mister Weed Thief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he has to like if they give him a gun and they're like, "Here you go." I don't you think know? so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like mm-hmm. a taser or something. You got to have some kind of weapon. Well, that is the crazy part in New York. It's like if you have a gun, like in Florida, it's like everybody has a, I'm from Florida, everybody has yeah. fucking guns. But it's yeah. so scary here that like if you have a gun, you're in like so much trouble. Like if you get caught with a gun, uh, you're, yeah. like, you're in so much trouble. Yeah. They just make you shoot yourself with it. <laughs> <on the spot. laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was the dumbest thing. Is I was back in Florida. They th- make you suck the gun. <laughs> <laughs> he holds it between his legs. <laughs> Takes a picture from the below. <laughs> Sends it to his wife. <laughs> oh, he got another one. <laughs> Made another guy suck his own gun. <laughs> Keeping the streets safe. <laughs> I'm three days away from retirement. <laughs> That's when he gets killed. <laughs> you made me suck my gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I just bought a boat <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do this now Why would I risk my career <laughs> There's so much But it's like Every time I go back to Florida It's just I look I'll get drunk with my We, we just get drunk And play with everybody's gun And it's such a bad <laughs> idea Because it's like Every single time There's a picture of me With like sunglasses on And like a Mac 10 Going like that I'm like uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah but it's like it, people get really into it Like my brother has like Fucking like Probably like 40 guns In his head He's been, Jesus dude, Yeah That's yeah. It's a lot, yeah. That's like, yeah, the most you should have is probably two. And that's in case one of them doesn't work and then you need the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My wife's uncle is a fire marshal. And so he's got like a, he's got like a, either a 38 or a 44 like on him at all times because he's like, I put a lot of guys away. (laughs) A lot of guys want me dead. (laughs) As a fire marshal, dude. What what, are you going to shoot at a burning building? (laughs) No, I think think with like insurance fraud and shit like that, like he would investigate like the, you know, when somebody would like burn down there. He's like, yeah, I knew a guy had 10 fires in a year. How many fires you had? (laughs) I'm like, yeah, zero. That's what they said about that Jewish building over there. 
Oh, oh yeah, like yeah. This, this one, like, it caught on fire, like, a, what was it, three weeks ago? Yeah, it caught on fire, and then, like, all the Hasidic people were, like, running out in the street, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, it's like, they're, like, running in circles and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, were they dancing? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 took a guy out of chair. <laughs> doing a rain dance to put out the fire. You're walking around, like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> But the guy at the bodega was like, this is like the fifth time this happened. This yeah. Year. Oh, well, yeah. dude, it's great. They they have their own police that show up. Yeah. And then they have their own fire department, too. Yeah. And it's like, that. there's got to be like a conflict of interest there. Yeah, where yeah. like, they could just be starting these things. And then and then also, we went by the other day and they had like stacks of firewood. Yeah. It's, it's like, that's the most like obvious. A friend of mine, this isn't my joke, but a friend of mine was talking about the fire their fire department one time. He's like, imagine they show up and they're like, Hey, careful with all the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, maybe it's just deflammable. I have no idea. I just, my brain just immediately went to that place. Yeah. I think it's like a combination. Damn, of- that was like the biggest laugh of the episode, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my friend said. <laughs> Fuck. No, I think the wife thing uh, was the best. <laughs> the, um, the, uh, yeah, like, I think it's a combination of like, I don't think they take care of their properties a lot. So uh-huh. I think there's a lot of just like debris and stuff. I think it can catch fi- a lot of their buildings can catch fire pretty quickly. Mm. That can make sense. Cause like, yeah. uh, I've had to like walk through their buildings once. Cause it was like, I, I guess on like Saturdays or something, they're not allowed to like mm-hmm. use technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, He's like, yeah, I own a, I own a newspaper soaked in gasoline warehouse. <laughs> 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 they just store newspaper. Oh, that would be funny too. They're not allowed to work on Saturdays. It'd be funny if somebody started the fire on Saturdays. The fire department's yeah. like, yeah, hey, get this. <laughs> <laughs> this house is electric. Yeah. Someone's gonna start it. Yeah, we had to go in one time because they needed someone to like turn their refrigerator off. And uh, we walked in, and, like, it was just, like, we just were in, like, a Jewish family's house. Uh Uh-huh. And it was, like, all their furniture. Uh Uh-huh. And they were, like, do you want us to, like, make you dinner? And we were, like, no. (laughs) But, like, we should have said yes. Yeah. Just sat down for a nice, like, probably not tasty Jewish. It's really not. We we, we used to do, like, around the world thing as, like, a kid's where we did, like, every holiday. And I remember just every time we got to the Jewish food, I was like, Ehh. yeah, like like really? bagel, bagels are bagels good. Bagels are good, but I don't yeah, think like yeah. latkes are good. I don't think like uh, I don't think matzah is really good. I think I do like a nice matzah ball soup. Really, I'm not a yeah. fan. I've never had it, but I know uh, the, the like gefilte fish or whatever. Like mm-hmm. that's where it gets disgusting. Mm-hmm. It's like just yeah. the name is disgusting. But also, I wonder if, like, maybe as an adult, if I had more of it, it'd be good. Because there's shit you think is just disgusting as kids. Like, oysters, I think, are, were gross. Pussy. Now I love yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like pussy, you come around full circle where you're like, that's disgusting. Then yeah. you're, like, in your 20s, you're like, this is awesome. <laughs> you get older, you're like, that is that's really disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a, a, a biome of, like, <laughs> just an you ecosystem. You turn 50, you're just not into it. Yeah. Or 35. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, people always say that about like the celebrities that start going gay. They're like, they always say like somebody like David Bowie like got so much pussy and then he stopped liking. That's when he started fucking dudes. But I don't know if that. Mm. Makes... I think it starts when you're like wearing eyeliner on stage. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, you can. You're gonna end up there yeah. at yeah, some point. Yeah. You know. I mean, that makes sense if you have chocolate ice cream every day. Yeah, you're you're like, let me try some strawberry. Yeah. Some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it is funny too when it's like uh it's gotta suck so bad to find out you're not gay after you try like you know, after you suck a guy's dick, you're like, God damn it. You're like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> Just spitting out cum like oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's either that or it's like very thankful. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I have a friend who's completely straight, but he like made out with a dude in Germany. He's like, I know I'm not gay now. He's like, yeah. you don't know you're not gay. Ever. You're like, you're, you're right, right, I right, guess. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, at least you know for sure. Yeah, I think I've peered enough over the cliff to know I'm not. Like, I, I accidentally banged a trans woman. She had a vagina, but... Um, and then I also, like, I've seen gay porn before, and I'm like, not not, not for me. Yeah, I had to watch a lot of gay porn to make a video, because it, like, involved 60, two guys 60. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And dude, like the it's so because I said you have no idea what he's talking about. I'm like, yeah, 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 I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I felt like very nauseous after. This is like me trying to prove I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't even look. No, but I felt like it's weird when you when you watch something that you're not into. Yeah. Like it is just like people fuck it. Like it is like 
not the carnal response you get to like porn. Yeah. yeah. Where you're like, oh, this is how I could see myself getting into this or whatever. Then it's just like two guys like rolling around on top of each other. And you're like, I yeah. don't know if I like this. Well, I think I think we've talked about this. Intimacy grosses me out more. Like when it, if a dude mm. touches me in a weird way, that's more uncomfortable than seeing two dudes make out. Oh, like yeah. there's something about like you don't like seeing like two guys holding hands on the street and you're like, eh, 20 years ago. Maybe they weren't able to do this. No, no, I'm like that's no? disgusting. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's like he's like cleaning the eye boogers out of the other one. Yeah, you know, like, he's, he's popping a pimple. Yeah, he's yeah. picking like bug, bugs off his <laughs> like back. He's a chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> Watch as the homosexual <laughs> cleans his. Pop. It's actually an ugly stereotype. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys are covered in bugs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, the worst was that, yeah, I had a show one time, and this dude afterwards was, like, very straight. Like, he was clearly, like, a closeted gay guy, because he's like, yeah, I fucking love just getting pussy, dude. Like, that's yeah, the way he's yeah, talking. Yeah. And then he goes and reaches, like, he's talking to me. He reaches under my shirt and touches, like, my hip right. And I was like, like, dude, it, like. That's the, that's the gayest thing you could do. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it fucking deep. <laughs> yeah. But he's acting that's like. like the hottest part of a guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah hip yeah, bone. Yeah. <laughs> and it, <laughs> And it was just, we were all talking. He's like, great, shit, dude, had so much fun at the shit, and just did that. And I was uh-huh. like, that was, like, the most disgust. And I've had friends, like, jokingly, like, shove a TV remote. Like, not, like, in my ass. But you yeah. know when you're, like, you bend over and your buddy, <laughs> yeah. like, spank. Like, that doesn't, that's funny to me or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But, uh. You almost want to pull those guys aside and be like, hey, just, just, nobody talks about pussy this much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. like, oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we yeah. just talk about men and their bodies a <laughs> yeah. lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just ironically talk about gay sex. No one will. <laughs> yeah. That's like the straightest thing you can do. <laughs> yeah. it, it, the, the lies are so crazy, too. Like, you ever talk to a gay guy and they're like, dude, I was for years having sex with guys and I just didn't want to believe it? You're like, how do you yeah, not want to believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you fuck yeah. seven dudes and That's you're like, so this is a phase. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're like, maybe it'll go away or something. Yeah. 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 Or a lot that of dudes, really? I, I would hear this, I heard of this gay comic talk about it. He would like jerk off to, uh, what's it called? Like gay porn, but then he finished a straight porn. <laughs> He'd be like, well, I mean, <laughs> come on, it can't be. Just his thumb over the woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Special glasses for one of the fucking. Yeah. I'm pretending it's Captain America on the other side <laughs> of my thumb. <laughs> But I used, I used to do that thing where I have OCD, and like yeah. one of them was I was like I was. Worried. He finished a SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> the straightest cartoon. <laughs> <of the world. laughs> Sandy, <laughs> just jerking off the Sandy. Jeep. But I, I would feel gross if I was jerking off the porn with like nineteen or twenty year old chicks. Uh-huh. So then I would start with that and then finish with like an old lady and be like, "Well, I'm oh, not that's a creep." Nice. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. like my OCD would be like the age averaged out to thirty. Yeah, you take the weighted average of how long you watched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, well, I'm not. I'm not a creep because of this. <laughs> yeah. It is cool to find yourself attracted to like older women, though. It as is. you get older, totally. You know, it's like, like it's like oh, my future has yeah. some potential in it. Yeah, yeah. you'll because you'll see a woman with like gray hair, like gray, like long gray hair and glasses who looks like somebody's mom. Yeah, You're like I'd fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. 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 Dude, well, the, yeah. The thing is, I was like. Uh, I'm, I'm very like since I was single, I've been taking blue chew like too much. But I'm just like I want to okay. like put on a good performance. Yeah. But then there was this old lady. I we didn't hook up or anything. She was like over sixty. I think I told you I met her at like a. Uh, I met her at my friend's band was performing. Yeah. And yeah. I was on the way home and literally like getting hard in the Uber, like just by even her just like talk. She said the funniest, most racist shit I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. But we're in this Uber and what she's, was it? Can you share it on the? Yeah, one hundred percent. She was like. <laughs> The Uber driver was from Africa. <laughs> okay. And she she's over Here we six. Go. She's probably like <laughs> 70 years old. Yeah. And she goes, uh, she goes, uh, oh, you're from Africa? She goes, that's so cool. Are, are you married? He goes, yeah. He goes, she goes, uh, did a uh, did a rain man marry you and your wife? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or no, no, wait, did she say rain man or witch doctor? It was doctor? like she witch, witch, like, witch doctor. <laughs> probably a witch doctor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. And she was not even kidding. She was like yeah. dead serious. Yeah. yeah. But the funniest thing was talking to about her with dating, where she goes, uh, she had huge fake tits, and I was like, this woman's amazing. I, like, I was so into like her like gentle touch. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she said the, she was texting this guy. She's like, yeah, I got like ghosted by this guy, and uh, who's like my age. And she's like, I kept texting him, he wouldn't answer, and he wouldn't answer. And then I sent him like a video of F- Biden, and he finally responded, which is so funny that like as an old guy ghosting an old lady, you're like, I'm not gonna answer this, but you're like, that fucking Biden, like, <laughs> and he's like, you just can't hold it back. <laughs> But it's funny too because she was putting her number into my phone, and that was the funniest thing to watch because she uh-huh. was like, she was going like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, I was bummed because I brought her back and then she was like, yeah, no, she's like, I'm not. And I'm like, that's, that's fair. Have a nice night. But yeah. yeah. She's like, it's that time of the year for me. <laughs> Her period lasts three months. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, I have a printer at my house. You need to print anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put out fresh doilies. Yeah. <laughs> but we were like grinding at this thing, which I was, I was like, I've never been more turned on my life. This is like this old lady grinding on me. I was like, this mm. is. I, How old was she? Uh, I, she didn't tell me, but yeah. at least 60. No, no, oh, no yeah. sorry. At least seventy, like for sure seventy. Really? Yeah, and she like, uh, but like a good seventy. Oh, yeah, she said she cool. was in college during the Vietnam War, but that's a long mm. period, so I don't know when that was on that. Yeah, but she. Uh, Wait, she's like eighty years old. <laughs> she maybe she, maybe she is. <laughs> she's <laughs> a thousand. <Yeah. laughs> but it started as like a joke, like I was like drinking a little bit. But I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if she's I like fucked 60. this old lady? And yeah. then immediately after, it's like I'm gonna try so hard to yeah. have sex wow. with this old lady. You go down on her, you're like. <sighs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, she was because she has a dusty pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There right. I got on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you don't have her number anymore. No, I do. Anything? I do. But I'm, oh. I'm, I'm going to try. I, I'm going to try to re. Uh, we should invite her over for the masters, and she'll be like, "I remember when like black people weren't allowed <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> Those were the good old You're days." Like, yeah, can, you, can you stop? Yeah, we have Gen Z here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Yeah, what generation would she be? She's like past that. Probably a boomer. A boomer. Boomers are really old now. Yeah. yeah. And no, I would true. guess exactly like seventy was probably how old she was. But yeah. But like mm -hmm. that with fake tits, I was just so and it were, they were like nineties fake tits. So I was like, these yeah. look yeah so silly, but it's yeah. doing something for me. It's like, nostalgic. Yeah, it was very balloon like tits, and I was like, I kind of like this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I I'm not like a. I've never seen fake tits in in real life. I don't like know if bear. I have. Like I've mm -hmm. never gotten the the chance but i'm an yeah. i'm a tits guy all the way but the fake one's like it's like a lie it's like your body's lying yeah you're, it's yeah. a little strange yeah yeah because yeah. it's like what were they you know it's hot to me and i've said this to you but you don't agree i think a breast reduction is like the hottest yeah because i i dealt oh, with yeah. that a couple weeks ago where this girl she's like i literally got a breast reduction yesterday and i was like <laughs> <laughs> it was like right when i met her i was like God damn it. uh huh Cause it's like I used to have like so much tit, yeah, and then like I gave I, some away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a kid with leukemia, she got giant tits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you could donate it to a trans girl. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hope, and get some know. real meat in there. Yeah, that would yeah. be nice. Yeah, no, I think they do have the best fucking tits as trans women. Yeah, because okay. they're new and they're like state of the art. And it's like the thing when you're like, if I'm like building a new computer, yeah, like if I'm shelling out, this is my first computer, like I'm going to get all the best parts right. for it. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I'm not going to skimp on like anything. Well, that's why, like, when I banged that trans woman, I, in my mind, I'm like, there's no way, because her house was shitty. I'm like, there's no way she could afford. <laughs> <laughs> like being like because there was a hunch in my mind i was like she's a little masculine but i'm like there's no fucking way she could afford this yeah, shit. yeah you were looking at her house you're like i bet her pussy was on sale yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would yeah i would love if it's like that rick and morty episode where they just have like a catalog of different like body parts like, oh yeah, 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 yeah you know well that's like but, now now if i'll match with somebody that's too hot i know they're trans on like tinder i'm like all right and if oh, it happens yeah. a second time like fool me twice i'm gay there's no way <laughs> yeah, yeah. that i've been twice I don't know. I think we're I mean, going to start hey, just accepting it. the world we're living in. Yeah, yeah. we're just going to start accepting it, and it's going to be fine and fun, and yeah. pretty soon I'm going to be gay, and everything's <laughs> going to be great. Yeah, yeah. I'm finally going to be happy. And, yeah. You know? <laughs> How do you make a pussy? That's crazy. You, I know. You, I, you know? It's like I origami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, uh, you, yeah, you take the dick and you put it like... I, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I want the magic. To, <laughs> <laughs> just, hypothetically. Yeah, 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 I just yeah, picture yeah. like cake ball like the buddy velastro cake ball it's yeah just like feathering some like lips in yeah. like, what if, did they like practice on animals first yeah. like, how did they figure it out? <laughs> it's just a deer with like the best <laughs> <for the scene. laughs> but he's got antlers big antlers yeah. he's just running around confused <laughs> <laughs> oh and he's probably just getting the... railed out by other deers he's like what is happening yeah, everyone yeah. loves my hot snatch. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, how do how do they do? That's got to be because it's relatively new. So, I'd imagine there's a lot of doctors who. Went I think in. the first trans surgery was in like the 50s or something. There was a uh, guy who was a World War II like veteran. He was in the Navy, and he like got the first trans surgery. Did in, like, like his cock get blown or off something. or something? I I don't know. That'd be funny to have his cock like, Just make it a fucking pussy. Just make like, it a woman. woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of going to war. Yeah. Yeah. I want to start a new life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's insane. I always think about that with like the first person to do like a uh, like a heart transplant or mm-hmm. something. Like they have to pitch it to him and be like, "You remember like the Aztecs?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna. We think they were onto something. Well, I bet uh, that you practice on animals like a lot. Yeah, that's probably I do, I probably true. lost a lot of pigs. <laughs> yeah, doing yeah, a heart yeah. transplant. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had like a crazy a surgery idea. or anything? No. Yeah. I'm sure someday. Yeah, you got yeah. your appendix still. Yeah, that's in there. Nice. Yes. It'll turn on you someday. Really? It turned on me. Yeah. 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 Dude, just out of nowhere. I woke, I was yeah. in a nap and I just woke up and I'm like, I think my appendix is like, oh yeah, exploded. And I looked up a photo. Just real sharp pain. Yeah, really sharp pain. And I looked up a photo of appendicitis and I was like on my side gripping uh-huh. my pillow uh-huh. and it was just a guy in the same exact position. <laughs> okay. I'm like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what's going Do on. Do they tell you the same thing? I think you said, oh God, kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every time somebody has appendicitis, they tell the same thing where they're like, if you didn't catch this a minute earlier, you'd be in serious. Did they tell yeah, you that? Yeah, they, they were like, wow. thank God you came in today. But yeah, yeah. mine didn't even burst. Like, yeah, yeah. some people wait so fucking long. I I don't know how they do it yeah because that's got to be the most painful thing ever yeah but um i get yeah. chest pains every once in a while okay. and i'll just like i'll just like stop eating like animal products for i'll just go vegan for a couple days yeah and then it go away yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah that could be like just like an acid reflux thing or something maybe but it feels like a sharp like you know like your heart it feels like you, yeah <laughs> it feels like your my body's saying like stop eating bacon yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the body is good at that they, it's good at letting you know it, yeah with enough time like yeah. you can ignore a problem for a long time mm-hmm. and oh, then still yeah. be okay but mm-hmm. yeah did you yeah i remember my, my ex had her appendix burst it was very funny because like she or she got her appendix taken out and uh, she went to the doctors like a month later for something else and they're like everything looks great we just had a, a scan your your appendix looks great and she goes i don't have an appendix uh-huh. and the guy looked at the paperwork and then just like what He's like, we'll be right back. And she's like, I've been here for five. They were literally looking at the wrong organs. Like, you're your appendix. She was having Satan's baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's giving birth to the Antichrist. Like, oh, it looks like an appendix. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got yeah. horns like the. Yeah. Is your boyfriend yeah. Dominican? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that happens a lot. There was a. Uh, a she goes, doctor. no, I fucked the Dominican devil. Yeah. <laughs> there was a doc, I think in like uh, Prague, there was like a hospital where. This woman went in for an abortion, and um, they ended up delivering the baby, and they, like, handed her the baby, and she's like, I didn't want, like, I wanted an abortion, and they were like, oh, wait, that was... We should have thought about that a little earlier. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Or maybe she didn't deliver the baby, but she was like, "Man, it has hair." Like, she, it's like really yeah, yeah. <laughs> she went in for an abortion, and they ended up aborting someone else's child. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, someone, no. someone who went in for like a a regular like oh. thing, they just aborted the kid. Oh, and then they're like, "Sorry, it's Prague." They're like, <laughs> "Well, and we have bad news and good news." Yeah. <laughs> The bad news, or the bad, the good news is you're going to be way more wealthy than you thought you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you get a free baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's so funny. That arbitrary, because it's like uh, not to get in like abortion, but somebody's asked me like, when do you consider life? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't have a set date that I'm like, now it's a life, now it's a life. But yeah. it is funny the people that are like, the second it exits that pussy, it's a life. But yeah, it's, it's like if it's halfway in, are you like, dude? I count yeah. it in my balls. Yeah, that's life <laughs> in there. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, because like, you have a child now, dude. Did that, like, change your perspective on any of that stuff? Um, I guess you just kind of, like, think about what, what girls go through more, yeah. you know? Because it's like, at one point, it's just, you know, it's just, it is just like a fertilized, whatever, fertilized egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then, like, we got a scan kind of early on. You could hear the heartbeat, and you could hear, like, the bum, 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 bum. And this was very probably, like, you know, when she was a couple months pregnant and not, showing or anything so it's like yeah it, did, it is you know it started to feel real yeah it then. is definitely a life at some point yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh yeah, none, <clears throat> yeah of my, none of my business though <laughs> 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 you girls do whatever you want with that thing. it's not my you know yeah. yeah and it's just like yeah like uh you know if you have a miscarriage or something that's a whole that's a whole thing i mean yeah you know you don't have any reference for what these girls go through until you like see it 
until you yeah. see them. You know, that's crazy. I also, yeah, and I didn't know how bad. It, my mom had like three miscarriages, yeah. and I would just talk about them casually because I didn't know it was like a serious thing. So yeah, I was like, yeah. like I was, I remember being in like first grade. I was like, yeah, my mom had like three of those. I don't think it's like a big deal. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's just because she said it nicely to me. She's like, yeah. I had a miscarriage, and then I had you, and it was magical. So in my mind, I'm like, yeah. oh, that's just like stubbing your toe or something. Yeah. Like that. But it's like a horrible thing. Oh, dude, right? I was right. also. The child after after two miscarriages. Mm. Uh, I was the lucky boy. Oh in yeah, my yeah. Family. yeah. My mom. I think my mom had three, and then she had three kids afterwards. So. But she had them late, dude. It's like she had kid. Like I think she had. Your my mom had six like, kids. Oh no, no, no. Well, three. No, oh, and then okay. three oh, happened. Right, right, yeah, okay. yeah. Three didn't happen. Three okay. happened. She had okay. sex six times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not so hard. It's a lot of cream pies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah, she had, like, my sister at fucking 40, which is, like, really... Yeah, yeah, that's pretty old. And, like, none of us are, like, fucked up or anything. So I think you can... Like, what are the chances... Down syndrome is just random, right? It's not like if you have kids... If you have kids later, there's, like, a higher chance that one of them is fucked up? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, having a, a child at 40 is, like, uh, it's it reminds me of, like... Dice. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. like, you know how, like, Dimitri Martin just came out with, like, a new special? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like starting the factory up again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess it still works. Yeah, I saw, like, there was an article that came out that said, like, if you have a, like, penis size. Everyone thought penis size was based on, like, your feet. Uh-huh. But it's actually your nose. Oh, yeah? It's like a nose thing. Really? Yeah. Mm. So. Why is God making these? There's no way God is, like, know. the penis yeah. will match the nose size. I mean. My first thought was, like, like. Now, like I know, Dimitri Martin has a massive, massive cock. cock yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess the penis and the nose are kind of similar. Like maybe he made them like in the same mold. <laughs> There's it's like just no way, like <laughs> science or God or whatever's running thing is like measuring these things out to like where like half of your hand plus three. So if, if you have a big nose, you have a bigger dick. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Yeah. Like I guess. Like on average, that's like true. Uh-huh. But, in um, what way? So all these Hasids are walking around just packing, <laughs> yeah. just packing serious wood, <laughs> just tucking into their like fucking uh, what do you call them? Like a uh, stocking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't doubt it. Like they gotta have something in their corner, yeah. you know, other than money, like something. <laughs> yeah, to fuck these poor women. Yeah. Well, uh, was I talking to you? Some of the women are really hot. They are, dude. Yeah, they're like little house on the prairie, hot. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna be, uh, you know. I want to tell them secrets. And- uh-huh. <laughs> They're all bald, though, right? And they got wigs on? I, I think, but I, I don't know for sure. Do you think they take the wig off for... I heard they save their cum. Really? Yeah, I heard they come in a jar and they, <laughs> they like, ship it to... To Israel? What? No, I don't know. That's but that's what I, I don't think that's true though because I don't think they're like I don't. They can't be true because it's not. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's like I think com, like sperm dies like right after you come, right? So yeah. it's like is it? But if you freeze anything? it, you're fine, right? So it could be frozen. I don't know. It probably you probably need like a medical grade freezer, I would think. Yeah, you need to yeah. be jacking off in the freezer. In the yeah. walk-in freezer. Just to walk in. Yeah. yeah. Just come on the wall and leave. I'm like, honey, if I die, there's an ice tray with the <laughs> freezer. With our future. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was talking. You get them that. water bottle sized, like the water bottle sized ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> Put them in there. Yeah, you're like, honey, I saved some gum. She goes, there's just like gallons of gum. It's like, how much? Sure. <laughs> Your kid comes out and he's frozen out from the Incredibles. <laughs> he's able to, you know, black. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what happens when you freeze your cum. It's like a banana. <laughs> it just goes brown. Yeah, I don't like. Uh, oh, what was I saying? The fucking. Uh, the weird thing is, have you seen those ads for the things that make you come more? I don't know how that works. No. There's, like, products. I've seen it where it's, like, have you? it's, like, on the side of porn. It's, like, people come a little bit, and then it'll show one. It'll show two shot glasses. One of them has a little cum, and one of them's getting filled to the brim with cum. I think Che Dorena is, like, advertising for this company now. It makes you cum. <laughs> it's so funny. It makes you cum more. But I was like, I, why? What is the point? Like, it, th- maybe if it feels better longer, I would get Yo, it. what's up, guys? Are you not shooting enough ropes? <laughs> not shooting enough loads? <laughs> It is fun. I mean, like being the guy that's on Blue Chew and the more cum thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, dude, yeah. let that woman like breathe. That's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like doing ants for Coke and Pepsi. Yeah. <laughs> and you kind of have to pick one. Yeah, yeah I, I if think you do. But if you take Blue Chew and the more cum pill, you die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He gets sued. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think it's like I think that is a woman thing. I think they like just big 
ropes because I think it like represents that they're hot or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. They th- but, but at it, that point, I already had sex. <laughs> I'm not like it's like I guess for yeah. a round two, maybe. It's but it's yeah, it's like, like that's a what's false. Like, what if I spent all day jerking off to pictures of you, uh-huh. and then like I fuck you and I come in three seconds and it's like a small yeah. like that's like you should be like very happy with how little cum I have. <laughs> Because it yeah. was That's all the funniest for you. sentence of you saying that to a woman after fucking her. <laughs> you should be pleased at the amount of chiz I produced. Yeah. It's just the eighth time I've come thinking about you yeah. today. I take a little smoke machine to put in your dick when you come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just have ranch dressing on your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, dude. I like uh, my mom was talking because I'm broke as shit right now. My mom was like, "Yeah, yo, you should like donate sperm." And I'm like, "The idea of having a it really freaks me out. The idea of having yeah. a kid out there that I don't have like a connection to." Really? Yeah, I don't know. It kind of creeps me out. I mean, yeah, but it's not really your kid if it's just your sperm. You know what I mean? Like, it takes more to but, be a dad. Okay, so you like, wouldn't be the kid's dad. Okay, you so be like his in, sperm in your donor. Opinion, okay, that makes it's sense. not like the kid's gonna be like, "Why weren't you around?" You know, <laughs> right? He's right. gonna have two. Amazing lesbian moms that yeah. that gave him everything he needs. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They take him to cubby hole, and you, you got to think about like who. I just picture me like at the baseball game. Like if I find out who he is, and I'm like behind. He wouldn't care. I don't think he would yeah. care. No, because if you if you found out that like somebody donated sperm, you wouldn't be like, oh, where's my di- where's my. Oh, dad? I would. Yeah, be. Yeah. I would. I don't know if it was somebody other than your dad. Yeah, I'd be really curious. Yeah, would you? But why? What would you get out of it? I feel like I would just. I don't know. I would just be like. I, I'd be kind of curious just to see what he looks like, kind of. Daddy, what, why, why did you leave me? Yeah. <laughs> did you need fifty bucks that minute? Yeah. <laughs> it's like son, I came in a jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like your other dad is the guy who raised you. Yeah, no, totally. So it's like whoever, I, I don't, I don't think it's a serious. I'm just, it's more of a curiosity thing. Like I would always be curious what my kid looks like and like how he is because I'm like in some yeah. ways my DNA is still somewhere. It's just your DNA, though. You know. Yeah. It's when my just, uh, yeah, when I was nothing. in high school, my high school girlfriend definitely got an abortion mm-hmm. and like didn't tell me about it because like she was like she didn't have a period for I think two months straight. Okay, and she was like getting sick in the morning, and I was in high school. It's like, wow, that's weird. Like that's crazy. <laughs> okay. And then like one day, she just like I guess talked to her mom about it, and then like showed up, and she's like, yeah, everything's fine now, and I didn't ask any questions. <laughs> And I'm almost positive she got an abortion, but and it made me like think about because I was kind of like I was raised Catholic, so I was pro life when I was young, and then like sure. as soon as you're like with a woman intimately, you're like oh yeah they they get all the decisions yeah, now, yeah, yeah. and then but it made me think about it again. I was like damn, like that would have been like my kid because like that was with someone who I loved, yeah, yeah. and like the, she didn't tell me, and I was kind of like fuck, like I would have probably come to the same conclusion, like. But it's nicer that you but, didn't have to make that decision because in your mind, it is. You're like, I don't, like I didn't do it. Yeah, it was. I was very lucky. She had like a super liberal mom who was like, "Yeah, let's." <laughs> I've been down this block. I before. think you're supposed to have a kid when you're like 17, though. You like biologically, like, biologically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can keep up with it, you know. Like my kid, like exhausts me. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's, so, it's yeah. so tedious to hang out with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you? Because uh, you're like a good cook too, right? I guess, yeah. Did you like? Do you enjoy get, that, it? That's burning me out too. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's a Just, lot of responsibility and time. Yeah. Who taught you like how to cook? YouTube. Really? Yeah. So you just like wanted to do it, and you're like, I'll just look stuff up. And... Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. I mean, my my like my grandma had a restaurant, you know, for like, oh, nice. a long time in Jersey, and uh, yeah, my family's very like food oriented. Oriented, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, nobody's a cook in my family. No. So I'd have to – I want to get better at it because, yeah. like, I don't know. We're going to get a kitchen island. So yeah, like, yeah. I got to use Oh, that. nice. Yeah. Yeah, meal prep is cool, you know? Yeah. You do, like, a chili or a jambalaya, eat that all week. Yeah, Do you think you nice. actually save a lot of money? Because people say you do, but I feel you like – You save I, money, you save time, you know? Oh, because I guess – yeah, because my mind – I don't just, have the patience to cook, but yeah. I guess if you if you prep it, then it's like – if you made saving- like three pounds of chili and like a big pot of rice and you yeah. just ate that for lunch and dinner, every, you know? Yeah. 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 It's like you that would- might take a while to make, but the amount of time it's going to take to eat the other meals yeah. is just kind of fun. You got to think about your future. <laughs> you got to think about the week. Yeah. Coming yeah. up. So. Which, by the way, I wanted to save this till the end because we're at the end, but I'm like a huge fan. Thanks. I love all of your albums and everything. The one- make it weird. The one. No, <laughs> I know. I knew it was going to be weird. No, but you I know, it's funny because I, I put the special out like, a f- like three weeks ago. Yeah. And so it was a lot of like. You know, I and I had a little thing in the middle. I said, if you want to donate, you can you can donate. And so, like, but now, like, the views are slowing down, and the um, 
the accolades are slowing down. So the, I, think <laughs> so I think I'm going through like withdrawal a little bit. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm like, am I even like special? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm like depressed now. No, you're you know? you're one of my favorites. Thanks. And like one of the uh, like our other roommate Jake. Like we'll talk about. Uh, I forget the name of the album, but you have a joke on it. Where oh, the delegate, I guess, is the uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. And you're the the whole bit is about like a fantasy where your like oh yeah, that's your fun, daughter's yeah. friend wants to fuck you. <laughs> it's like it's so funny because it's like it's just this yeah. long story that like just keeps getting more intense. <laughs> Oh, dude. That's some of my favorite stuff to do, like stuff that, that is funny, but you can't really explain why it's yeah. funny, like weird stuff. Like, you know, you watch a show, like, I think you should leave, and you go, like, it's it, it's funny how, okay, this sketch works. Like, this sketch is hilarious, but then this one, it's like, I can kind of see what they're going for, but it's not really, it's not really hitting. Yeah. And uh, I opened up my special, and I, for some reason, I had this in my head for a while, but I was like, um, wouldn't it be funny if the opening was just me putting on lipstick and that, and, that's it? <laughs> yeah. and it like worked and it's like a funny intro and I, and I was happy with it, but I can't really explain why that's funny, but that's the stuff that I like to do. Like, yeah. The more, um, well, I don't know what the hell you call it aesthetic or like, I don't know. It's like, like more, it's like more a niche thing and kind of like, uh, it's like something it feels like that more not of an art, everyone, I guess. Yeah. Cause it's not easy to do that stuff. Yeah. Cause I, I'm, uh, a comedy audience, especially in New York, is so attuned to like the pacing and the whatever, and it's like blah blah blah. Here's the joke, blah blah blah, and it's like it kind of throws people off, and then they come around. There's like a whole thing where they come around, and it's like, oh, I didn't even, I don't even know why I'm laughing, but like that's yeah. like a really hard thing to do. Yeah. So yeah, I it's respect just good, that. but you gotta like follow your instincts in that way. If you think yeah. that something's funny, even if it's and it's it's tough, especially as a stand up, because it's like. Do, be, doing stand up is about getting up and like winning over people essentially yeah. Yeah. yeah or like that's how we that's how we think of it or that's how we think it's supposed to be it's supposed to be about like getting laughs so sometimes if, if i'll do like a road gig in jersey or something i might not do the weirder stuff yeah but uh that's the stuff that people seem to remember yeah so and you um, do a lot of brooklyn shows too right i guess yeah i try to go which is like i feel like brooklyn is not your audience um no, but I like I yeah. like doing it. Yeah, yeah. That was like because I always kind of shied away from Brooklyn shows because I was like, oh, they're not they're going to hate me. Yeah, but it's like it's not always. Well, sometimes that's that funny trying to connect with those people is <laughs> yeah. like funny in itself. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I watched the special. I loved it. Thanks. Um, the horse yeah, what... ass joke is really. I saw oh, that thanks. was very funny because there's, there's some horses that. It's fucking good. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I was driving. Listen, I was like, "That's good." Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we're at the end of the episode. So uh, cool. Anything this is fun. Uh, other than the special, or, or what do you want to? Yeah, here? um, yeah. My special's on uh, YouTube. It's called "I'm Normal." I'm going to Europe next month, and oh, I nice. have like, yeah. So last night I got a bunch of my like hotels and flights through Europe, and I'm hoping that I. Uh, I don't know how you promote these stuff. I hope people come out and buy tickets <laughs> yeah. or I'm going to be. You have to blow I'm a large horn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I got uh, some dates. I got like Charlotte and Fort Worth and Tacoma coming up. So hell yeah. You go to Mike Racine comedy dot com if you want to see me live. Awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then Michael Good. Morning Good podcast. Mm -hmm. Morning and, Good uh, pod. Michael Good comedy on Instagram. Hell yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah it was a lot of fun. Yeah.